right boys and girls, we're at bass fishing today, we've got our mate boy Scott over here, um, we're down at Sandfire High, we're going to walk up towards the Folkestone end, fish off some of the rock marks down there, um, the weather is absolutely lovely, the tide looks to be absolutely here. yeah so we're going to get around there, get around there. happy jubbly. Right guys, we're nearly at the mark now. A bit of a trek. It's a bit hard on this, this shingle. Over by them rocks, you've got Scott sitting. He's a little bit puffed out. Not an easy walk really. Um, yeah, lovely day for it. It's very, very bright though. No clouds in the sky. And the water's not really churned up. Water visibility looks quite good from what I've seen so far. So, there could be a possibility of some mackerel and all that here but uh we'll see i don't know if it's still a little bit early for them yet but nice day to get out for a couple of hours i suppose a chance of catching a nice bass these old boulders and that you gotta be blooming careful um yeah the, the sort of ground we're gonna be fishing fishing on is this sort of stuff there's old matey boy over there. Absolutely stunning though. The old white cliffs over. Uh, I fished this mark a couple of years back uh, once. We didn't have anything. We was only here for a short while. We were just having a bit of a wreck here back really. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd come back and give it a, give it a proper go. Um, I don't know how long we'll stay at this mark because I want to yeah again try a couple of little spots along along the way back but we'll give it a good go anyway um yeah stay with us so grand's a little bit ooh, a bit rough good pair of walking boots on makes a big difference I have got my waders in the bag as well, just to, uh, you know, I find it a bit easier really to walk without them on, I'll get them on when I get up here. <sighs> Absolute stunning weather to be out in. Probably a little bit bright really for the fishing side of things right flat calm day pretty much but all well, the lights have got out on the yak really today i was the bone about it but i left it a bit late to get bait and stuff so i thought i'd opt to get out do a bit of lure fishing instead here's the spot actually thinking about it yeah, this is it, yeah. I'm not sure if it was further round than this. But it might even be further round. It's hard to remember because it was a couple of years ago. But I'll come out. I think the water's on the flood now as well. Not 100% on that, but... Right, I'm with that woods. Right, so we're on the mark now. I can't actually see anything when I've got my sunglasses on though, on the camera. So I'm just going to um, I'll just put my clip on, ring all my rods up, I'll pick a lure. Right, at the minute it's quite shallow out there and it's quite flat calm. So I think I might go for something which just goes under the surface, maybe a feed shallow. So I could do with something a bit brighter than that really because it is a very, very bright day. Um, I don't want to go too, too deep really. That's a zonk, that go down deep. Um, it's 
chute goes a little bit deeper. Yeah, I'm going to go for the um, Komodo 125. This one's seen a bit of action. It's had a couple of bass on it. Uh, I've had this one for a few seasons. So, uh, yeah, get it out, get a chuck in. Now, let's find a spot I can cast. I think it's deeper than what you think it is. Yeah, boys and girls, uh, I think this so-called mark we're on is actually a nudist beach. Because when we turned up, there was a strange old man who decided to strip down naked next to us. Which I thought, all right, fair play, fair enough. Obviously, I didn't video him because that would be wrong, and I don't think YouTube need to see that sort of stuff. And now, by looks of things, up the beach a bit further, a couple of hundred yards, there's a naked couple. So, uh, yeah, all great fun. Oh, now I've got to fucking move my bag as well because the tide's pushed up that far already. Oh, it's floating, mate. One big wave and it's all over. Yeah, you do have to uh, watch yourself on places like this because you can get flooded out fairly quickly. Fairly quickly, you know. Like this, this here. pretty much floating so I'm going to uh, get my bag a bit further up right so I'm sort of pushing up now it's a bit too much so uh we're going to make our way over towards the bay over there. Um, yeah, have a little go over there. We probably only had a few casts really here, but the, the water is really pushing up quite quick and I don't really fancy getting cut off. Um, so, yeah, all good so far. Lovely day. No fish yet, but I'm sure we'll have something out today. So, yeah, stay with us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've... Uh, We've moved spots now. Um, we was over there. We've moved round here into this bay bit. Give this a go for a bit. So it seems to be quite shallow ground at the minute here. Very rocky um, type of ground, really. Um, but yeah, we, we, we'll see how it goes. The tide's pushing up now. So. Uh, sort of waded out sort of my fires halfway up my fires uh, there seems to be a lot of small debris of weed in, that, in the water at the minute but uh, yeah only time will tell really either that or it's a nice day out and away so 
I'm sure there's some bass around here. There's got to be. The water doesn't feel too cold, to be honest with you, either. It was quite nice. Quite refreshing, to be quite honest. Um, water clarity is pretty damn good, especially to what we're sort of used to fishing in. Um, on the island, our water clarity isn't very good because of the estuary. You get a lot of uh, silt, silty type, muddy water coming through. Especially when the tide's on its way out. But yeah, it's all great fun. So I'm going to have a little change over of lures now as the water's getting a, a tad, bit, tad bit deeper. Uh, I'm going to go on to sink what runs a little bit, a little bit more down. So I'll take the Komomo off. What have we got in the box? Hmm. I think what cost. Cost pretty good and all. All right, let's have a go. Uh, no, actually, let's have a go with the old Rapala, sort of a sandy sort of colour. That green on the top, silver, silver reflections, and a bit of pink on the bottom. Nice reel. Uh, nice lure. Sorry. Um. Sure, it's a Rapala anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got. Rapala over it on there, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a go for a little while. Alright, that Rapala, that, um, yeah, the Rapala just running. Oh, yeah, that Rapala, um, it's running a little bit too deep for me. Set it in the bottom a bit. Um, I don't really want to fancy getting it snagged and losing it. So, I'm gonna make my way back in, and in my bag, I've got another tackle box. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get, get something out of there, I think. Have a go, maybe with a soft plastic or something like that, or even a bit of metal. Um, yeah, all right. I'm going to give this Savage Gear Seeker a little go, I think. Give this a blast, 28 grams. Uh, I, I don't know the colour, it's just got like green and silver, really. So that sandily sort of colour. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a crack for a little while. There we go. Alright, well a different little spot now, just a little, up a little bit further than what we were. Um, Scott thinks he had a fish on. On a uh, fish minnow, but he lost it. And while he was doing that, I got snagged up with my Ima Rocket. Which is a brand new lure. Not really, I've not really used it much. And I lost that. So I've had to tie a fresh FG knot, fresh fluorocarbon. Um, I'm fishing now with a um, Samson lure, I think it's called the Slim, uh, I think it's around about 28-30 grams, it casts like an absolute bullet, uh, the action's pretty good on it to be fair, absolute flies out to the horizon that lure, um, yes. So no fish really yet, but the old beach up there looks fairly popular. But this is the sort of ground we're fishing over. Nice rocky, seaweedy, very slippery, as I've nearly found out a couple of times. Uh, yeah, so ain't really happened really yet but we are going to continue on fishing see how we get it. oh there's a couple of kayakers out there missions out there you probably can't see them but another family walk cliffs scott's up there having a little break i think the heat's getting the best to him he's had about 10 casts <laughs> boat out there 
Yeah, it's lovely. There's a couple of guys along the beach over there. They just walked up with uh, cool boxings. A rod set up for mackerel feathers, so I think they're going to have a go for the old mackerel. Yeah. All right. We have another little move. A little mooch over just round the corner. Have a go up near the, the more beachier type of area. It's still rough ground, loads and loads of rocks in that there. We see it low tide earlier. There's old mate, the boy old Scotty up there. He's got a seeker on. Um, I've got a fish minnow, like a blue and silvery one. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get round there. The old tide's definitely pushed up a lot now. Uh, a lot of the rocks that we were on earlier totally gone there. Uh, well, well, wonder the water. Uh, so yeah. This is what we're trying to get to over here. You've got to be very careful when you're riding around like this because what rocks underneath your feet are very, very slippery. So just take it slow. Keep your rod up out the water. So that's a deeper hole there. Woo. Just take it nice and slow. And you'll get there eventually. You got Scott. He's up over there. This is the rock I'm going for around it. Gets me a little bit further out. Oh, we're quite deep in there. So I'll probably get a little bit of fishing off here, but I won't be able to stay for too long because. I think I'll end that swimming back in. Let me get up. Oh. Right, right there now. Nice boat out there. There's Scully boy. So we're only like that, that far right. Beach is real, real busy up there, but it's all rocky, weedy. So yeah, give this a bit for a bit. Clean the weed off your lure every time. You don't want weed on it. Fish generally don't go for it if it's got weed on it. Keeping the retrieve relatively fast. Feeling the rocks knocking away. Oh, nearly went then. There's a bit of a slippery spot there. What you put on, Scott? What you got on? A seeker. Uh,
So I've just changed back over to the Komodo. I think it's a 125F floating. Um, it's sort of like blue and silver colour. Very, very reflective. It works just under the surface. It's quite shallowish here, very rocky and bouldery. So with this working just under, it shouldn't be getting snagged. Um, now I've got single hooks on this lure. Yeah, like I say, I've got single hooks. It's quite a cool lure because where it's so flashy, you can see it flashing from all the way out and where the water's so clear. Such a bright lure. On a bright day like today, if it goes past a bass, I, can't, I couldn't see why a bass wouldn't touch it to be fair. Cast pretty well as well. It's probably one of my favourites. It's not my favourite but it's one of my favourites. It's just one of them lures will just catch his fish on shallow grounds. It's the old Komomo show as well. I prefer the older one than the um, the second one will come out. I've got the second one. I'm not as big as a fan as this one. Do a few little rips and stops and Better fix out there. I don't know if you can quite see out there two two warships, two battleships out in the distance. Pretty cool. One's going faster than the other. Do you reckon they're having a race or something? Yeah, interesting. Right, we just stopped off so Scotty boy can have a little break. Hard on his feet. Uh, yeah, we're just having a few few trucks. I'm throwing the zonk. What are you throwing, Scott? Huh? What are you throwing? Uh, He's still throwing the seeker. The old fishing boat out right there is going to have a little go by looks things. The water clarity is absolutely perfect. Absolutely brilliant. I think this part is fairly deep here, but that's why I put the zonk on because it's probably one of the deeper lures I've got. Woo! That got me wet. Oh, that got me soaked, that one. Bouncing off of that rock. Alright, so we're at the other mark now. There's old Scotty boy there. Slightly different rocks, these are a lot more grippy. Apparently there's a couple of bass out down this way this morning. Bit more of a breeze down here. Uh, yeah, give it a go for a little while. So, changed back over. We've been here for quite a while now. Changed over to the uh, of the hounds. Give that a go for a while. Tide's sort of dropping back down now, so we're going to give it a little bit longer. Maybe another 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll probably head our way back.
Right, everybody, we're done there. All packed, well, not packed up, but we're on our way back to the van. Just having a little break for old Scotty over here. And, uh, yeah, no fish today, but hey ho, that's fishing for you. So, yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.